morning, and let's say hello and good morning to our one and only Anthony Grant, my favorite, the man, the Thai. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love the Thai. And you're here no, to, yeah, no, no, I'm yeah. gonna, we're, we're gonna, uh, you're here to discuss the news that I missed while skimming the headlines. Right, right. Shoot. Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of uh, tumult in the region, as <laughs> we know, which is, uh, you know, racing across the headlines, and it could almost drive one to wanting to take a cigarette break. Okay. But if you're, uh, you know, I, for the last three years, have been wanting a cigarette break since quitting, so yes. <laughs> and, uh, and Lord knows Israelis like their cigarettes, mm -hmm. but it is set to get a little bit tougher to take a puff. In Israel, Yediot Aranot, uh, which is a, a major Israeli daily, it's the reports leading daily, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, cigarette break sort of is the headline translated. And um, there's new legislation afoot that's going to restrict public uh, smoking in public places, no. uh, in stadiums, in outdoor restaurant in stadiums, settings. It, uh, you that's know, never going to fly. Uh, it's going to fly, <laughs> apparently. I mean, it's uh, wow. something that is uh, just starting now to uh, kind of um, take root. No, I, I don't think people realize, as you said, how much Israelis love their cigarettes. They do. Exactly. In New York, I remember this was, um, uh, in, you know, um, basically this came into effect about a decade ago. Yeah. And, uh, it, you was know, we all, it was great. It was great. A shock at first to walk but into a exactly. bar and, and, and a smokeless bar. And anybody, though, who watched you smoking in New York after, you know, the ban came out, always looked at you with these evil eyes. Yeah. Having, how uh, dare you. How dare you. I think that should, probably but, will be the case here as well, but interesting yeah. to see if this is going to fly. Yeah, hopefully it will. Hopefully but it will. Clearly a non-smoker, Tony Grant. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Happily so. Uh, Denver Post reporting on the uh, the atrocious flooding which is oh, happening across... Oh yeah, we're going to touch about this soon. Uh, yeah. Fifteen counties uh, in northern Colorado are, are impacted by this. There's apparently a thousand people that are still That's stranded. Really and um, it's uh, the power of Mother Nature uh, on full force there. Yeah, so but, No, I know. And we're going to take a look at... Um, uh, um, a closer look at that with uh, in our next segment, but you know the, the pictures are unbelievable. Yeah, and, unbelievable. and the thing is, Colorado. Exactly. It, it's, everyone is quite surprised of all places. Why? But, there? Yeah. yeah. God seems to not, you know, you know, not uh, doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. What else? Yeah. I'll show. <laughs> well, up. here's a more expected scene uh, starting today in Athens. Uh, Tuvima, which is a major Athenian daily newspaper. But you know of because you've recently been to Greece, and since then I get all this I great flurry of news. I go to Greece news. as often as, as one the can, gods, as you should. As as the gods permit, which is not very often, but <laughs> but um, you know, I wanted to have a friend translate this headline, but Google did such a great job. <laughs> Coming tsunami strike from Monday. <laughs> I mean, and it's true. I'm sorry, I'm joking. There, <laughs> okay. yeah. Basically, Greece is girding, girding for a series of huge strikes starting today. Um, labor strikes, teachers are going on strike, um, civil Reminder servants. Reminder to our audiences, this is a country who's been plagued by horrific, you know, economy hardships. Unemployment is now yeah. at 28%. But why are the strikes starting now? Well, um, the Troika, which is the International Monetary Fund, uh, the European Central Bank, and the European Union, have imposed stringent regulations on Greece so that it can get its economy back in shape. Well, those creditors are coming to town starting this week oh to check God. on things. Civil servants are being laid off. People are going to take to the streets. It's not a great time to be walking through Syntagma Square in Athens if you, oh unless my you God. like. This is like uh, basically, you know, the creditors knocking on your door, but everywhere. Yeah, for an entire country. So Whew. expect more images like that from, from Greece this week. That cometh tonight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else? Um, <coughs> also closer to home in the Middle East, uh, Abu Dhabi, The National, which is a great English language paper there, um, runs this editorial cartoon about um, should uh, about uh, the red line for chemical weapons, Obama, and someone saying, should we shelf, shelf this for now, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so a little humor from, oh from the Gulf God, region. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, can we just put it aside. Yeah, yeah. and of it? course the Gulf countries, most of them were amongst the ones that are, have been and probably still are hoping for some kind of meteor action in Syria. No, interesting um, point in that, that you know, we were trying to figure, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a good deal because you know, no war has come about right now. For now, yeah. Say, exactly, yeah. but it's all the implications of it that you know, hopefully will end up in just cartoons. And, and yeah, Hopefully, and also, but that paper runs an interesting op-ed about how misinformation is, is tainting a lot of decision making in the West and how there's images and news coming out of Syria. It's so murky. And uh, for a paper in the region to say that, it's no, murky. Very is quite no, very true. I saw a headline this morning in an American network, which will, shall not be named, um, saying, Should U.S. strike in Syria? And I thought to myself, 
that's no longer the news. I think we sort of have a deal right now. Yeah, and let's watch so, yeah, that. Let's watch that and try and keep yeah. that, you know, afloat. Might sources say that the network, it, I'm not going to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, it shall let's not be named. It shall not be named. Let's move on to yes. L.A. What else? Okay. Um, well, prior to the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur, you and I talked about poultry and chickens. Uh, you and I talked and, a lot about poultry. Yeah, swinging those birds uh, in the kaparot, which the Orthodox Jews, some of them do to absolve their sins yes. through the bird. Well, Still, uh, there's no, no. been a crackdown. We crack haven't down. figured it out yet, we have to say. We haven't cracked it. Okay. No, but apparently the health authorities in California are none too happy. And uh, Jewish <laughs> groups have gotten this. Not funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's the woman protecting the birds in a parking lot <laughs> off of Pico and Robertson, which is the heart of West L.A. And they've gotten cited by the health department, some of these Orthodox groups, for violating health codes. And it uh, just goes to show that, um, you know, sometimes uh, religious uh, e extremism, for lack of a better word, regardless yes, of the faith, okay. gets in the way of modern life. Of and, modern life. And, and, and in Los Angeles, for sure, where uh, there's a huge Jewish population. And, not only, and, and a huge population that is, you know, for animal, against animal cruelty, you know, for mm. protecting, but I just... And, I'm sorry, I can't get the, well, the image of the you, woman. Yeah, the, the, yeah. well, they, they say that a lot of the chickens that are that are uh, copperoded are supposed to, uh, <laughs> um, the proceeds of that service goes to charity, but a lot of them are just ending up in dumpsters. So almost like a racket of sorts. So adding insult to the oh injury. Oh my God, like a, a racket of atoning. Uh, yeah, yeah, the whole thing is just, um, you know, a big uh, bird mess. So I think it's... Tony, I'm, I think we need to turn this into something regular. I'm bringing me the chicken news of the day. Let's You're quickly. not making light of the situation. No, it's serious, yeah. especially for those birds. Especially. Now, I'm getting uh, you a bird for, you know, the next holiday. Uh, maybe a parrot. A parrot, okay. Yeah. A pet bird. Uh, exactly. Actually, get me the new Paul McCartney album instead. Okay. The Hollywood Reporter, the Hollywood also Reporter. in L.A., has amazing news about Paul McCartney, who did you know? And I was thinking about the Beatles just the other day, because who wouldn't? Um, he's got a new album coming out in October. Wow! Yeah, and it's called New. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Apparently. <laughs> and um, a couple of the tracks That's are. It's like people who have a dog and they name their dog Dog. Do, you know, people, do people yes, do that? Yes, I know two people who've named their dog yeah, Dog. 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 Right, okay. It's like, would, would a cat person call their cat Cat? Uh, I don't know. I think I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I just can't be bothered with it. New. No. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the album features tracks by some leading producers like Mark Ronson, who worked with wow, Andy Winehouse. Yes. And he's the brother of. Um, uh, uh, the one who was going out with Lindsay with Lohan. With Lindsay Lohan. See, yeah. I know my stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> um, but apparently it's going to be a new sound. Uh, Paul McCartney is saying that people might not recognize some of his signature styles because it's kind of a new departure, which I think is for an ex I I think that's pretty, amazing. Yeah. I'm wondering, I mean, to me, unless he comes out with all of a sudden long hair and no shirt and, you know, riffing on the guitar. With, yeah, not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But October 15th and the buzz is already starting to, to no, no, uh, something start to look forward that. to. Yeah. And, you know, the, a, a new Beagle coming out with new. Tony, love you. Love having you here. Yeah. You're going to come back so in much. the second hour. And thank okay. you for this one. Bye.